Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm SD2 Production, and welcome to my Limbo Let's Play. So, for those of you who don't know who I am, I'm a voice actor on the internet. I've done a couple of things on my channel and on others. I also have a podcast, a gaming podcast, that I do with two other gamers, and... Yeah, we're playing Limbo. I'm actually doing this. So I've been talking about doing a Let's Play for a very long time, but only recently have been able to find the time and just the setup that I need for it all. Um, and when deciding exactly what games to start, I thought simple, weird games would be interesting. So, of course, I'm playing Limbo. And uh, I haven't played this game in so long. Actually, I got Limbo free on Steam this year. I believe it was during the summer sale for whatever reason, Limbo was free to everybody. And I picked up a copy because I was like, oh, I don't have this on Steam, so I might as well play it. Uh, and yeah. It's so crazy because the developers of Limbo uh, had just put out a game called Inside, which, oh, I'm fucking dead. <laughs> Man, okay. Well, here comes the challenge of actually playing and talking at the same time. But basically, uh, I want to say that I just finished playing Inside, and God, is that a one weird game. And it made me miss Limbo a lot, so uh, hopefully uh, I can remember exactly what I'm doing in this. So right off the bat, Limbo gives this weird... It almost... Ah. It, it gives off this, like, uncomfortable feeling through the entire process. Like, just this alone is creepy looking. Like, if I, I, I want to take a screenshot of this and show it to somebody. Because I'm sure a lot of people will ask me, like, why is this game so uncomfortable or creepy? And I think it's, uh, it's the same thing that they do with Inside where it's the absence of knowledge. Things are much more scarier when you don't understand why they're this way. Uh, okay. I don't know if there's anything down there. I don't think so, right? I'm not going for any kind of specific ending or anything like that. I'm just playing the game as is. Now I'm on the boat. But yeah, the absence of every, of knowledge in general in horror movies are much more interesting. It's kind of the problem with a lot of horror movies is that sometimes you know what the monster is. And that could be fun to a degree. But it's a little more scarier when you don't. When you have absolutely no understanding of the plot, the characters, or exactly what they're running from. Which I think Limbo provides that in some way it's not about uh, a villain or a hero it's just nature being strange I'm guessing I gotta pull the boat I haven't played this in a long while so uh, if I get stuck in some places and some of you are just yelling out how I how I'm an idiot it's completely understandable because I probably am Do I have to push it more can I push it like this? Okay. Alright, let's see what we got here. Oh man, I hate this. Oh, I made it. You know, the first time I played Limbo, it reminded me a lot of, I think it's called Another World, which is uh, a very difficult game that I believe was on the Super Nintendo. Uh, I think its 30th anniversary just happened, and you can actually pick up a much more uh, detailed. Oh fuck me! Oh shit, that's gruesome. Okay, well. Hmm. What to do? I guess I jump, right? I can jump that high? Let's see. Well, my head made it. And that's all that matters. Ooh. That one was a little, like, delayed. It, it wanted to tell me how. 
Oh. All oh, right, you can move things. I'm an idiot. I don't know if you guys notice. All right. Puzzle solved. And off I go. So I oh, I forget if those are, if those are bees. I don't think so. I'm guessing this is what you do. Again, it's been a long time. Oh, I guess that was what you needed to do. <laughs> Alright. So far, so good. Looks like I'm a limbo expert. Except for those couple of times I've actually died. God, just... The music change there. That's another thing that, that I love about uh, these kinds of games is when... Is that the spider just hanging onto that tree? I can't tell. Um, is when you're just completely taken in by the world because it's so strange. Indiana Jones! Oh shit! Indiana Jones. Oh fuck. Uh, but yeah, like I was saying, when you're completely enthralled in the world, like you, you take notice of certain things. Like right now. Because that rock hit that area, I don't know if that was like a cave system of some sort, or I can hear water in the distance. I, I don't know if I'm going to run into a lake at some point. But I can hear water, and it's just, it sounds more serene around here than it would, than it did in there. So it was the absence of sound, absence of sound. Oh yeah, there it is. Oh, I fucking drowned. All right. So I push the thing. Get up, you idiot. Oh, fucking A. How old do you think this kid is? Like, legitimately, how old do you think he is? With everything that he's capable of doing, I would assume that he's maybe not extremely old. God damn, this is hard. Can I throw the boss? The box? The boss. Okay, let's see what I can do here. Hold on. This seems impossible. Let me see. Cause uh Let me check that out. My uh This seems like the way instead. My uh Oh I was lost to the tree. Oh jump higher, I know you can. There we go. Can I swing? Yes, I can. I was gonna say, uh, my survival horror instincts kicked in. I was like, that looks suspicious. And it just doesn't seem like I could get over that water with, at all, even with the box. Even if I did find a way, I would have still came back here just to check it out. But I guess this is the way. Where the fuck am I going? Oh! I gotta be careful. The jumps in this game are terrible. They're not bad, they're just... Ah, they're real floaty. And, and very slow. Like, with a game like this, you would want it to be a little more, uh... I don't know, you would want more control of your character. But I guess... That's kind of the difficulty. Is you're dealing with somebody with like absolutely no sense of control. Okay, so I can do this tiny hop, and then I can do this. Let me. 
My basic jump is about that high, and if I hold it down, it's a bit higher. Shit. Am I jumping too early? It seems like I am, right? Oh. Alright. Gotta swing again. Here we go. God damn it. This is it, guys. This is the let's play for the next hour. Me trying to solve this platforming pro puzzle. Yes, I'm gonna I'm gonna call this a puzzle, just cause. <laughs> cause I don't want. Oh god. Oh, and every you know what, the sh the sheer fact that I ran into this straight away just reminded me of how much bullshit the end of the game is. Like, around the end of the game, some of the platforming and puzzles that you do are, are kind of like, what the fuck. God damn it. Do I have to go higher? Oh my god. I have no sense of my character's abilities. Like, I don't know if he's capable of doing anything at this point in my life. Oh, I made it sound like I was talking about myself. <laughs> oh! All right, there we did it. God damn. All right, stupid hop, skip, and a jump. I'm not gonna fucking be able to make it. I don't know why I keep trying. I'm just wasting my goddamn time at this point. I gotta do something. I either gotta climb up that tree, or I don't know, something. Something. I gotta do something. Can't climb the tree, I have to do this jump. I just, oh my god, I didn't even, I didn't even jump that time, I just fucking walked off. I love how the box just, every time I, I jump off it, if you notice, the box actually moves too. All the details. Uh, I like to, I like to, to see exactly what, uh, oh shit. I like to see exactly what inspired them to make this game. Like, what did they see when they were kids, or what did they notice in horror games and horror movies that pushed them to do this? Because there are a lot of interesting things to take away from those. Like, it, the eeriness is one thing. I think that is obviously taken from just a basic knowledge of horror games in general. I can't do this! I am an idiot, and thus cannot do this. Oh, I have to figure this shit out. Okay. Fucking hate this thing. This box. All right, and leave. Okay. Now what? Do fucking nothing. Cool. Awesome. Huh. Huh. Oh god. I don't know if I can make that jump. I honestly don't. Can I do it? Can I run jump? Let's hope for it. Oh! I, I fucking did it. Holy shit. Oh god. Oh my god. Oh. Sweet. 
I am the best at this game. Man. Woo! Oh. Oh, wow. Does this game have fall damage? I think it does. And now I can cross the river. But not all the way. Gotta push it a little more. Yep. I can make that jump. Yeah! Oh, I can't. I'm an idiot. Now I'm dead. Whoa! Kukukachoo, Mr. Robinson. Fuck you, log. Alright. And jump. Alright. Fucking puzzle solved, my friends. We're out of the woods now. Actually, I think we just came into more woods. So. Yeah, more woods. <sighs> what the fuck? How does that do? How do I get that down? Oh! Oh, God. Oh, Lord. Oh, no. I don't like it. I have a fear of spiders. So this game was traumatizing as an adult. Oh, how do I... I fucking drowned. <laughs> I'd rather drown in a lake than have to deal with any kind of spider. <laughs> I'm not joking. <laughs>